And a big change, both starting center backs return to the lineup. Santiago Suarez and Victor Souza both had to miss the last match. Elias Piero gets to start at defensive midfield. Matthew Long starting in the back line on that left side. This one about to get underway. Kickoff coming momentarily. There's the opening whistle. This one underway. New York City FC 2 in town to take on New England Revolution 2. I'm Kylan Mills. Happy to have you along for the call. Visitors in the white kits immediately getting the ball down into the attacking third, but a foul is going to be called. Free kick going out. It was the Revs who actually opened the scoring in that one in just the eighth minute, but NYC FC2 followed up minutes later. It was Jonathan Jimenez who scored a brace. And now on the attacking side is Calhera. Earned a brace, putting his team back in front in the first half. Maximo Carrizo and Jonathan Shore also got in on the action. And Arevalo, the two other goal scorers, the first time these two sides met. Corner kick sent near post, headed high. Battle in the box, clearance blocked, second clearance blocked. Squibbles through, but will be no problems there. Big clearance though, going the other way. Monas. Giving up 12 goals is the seventh fewest out of 29 teams in the league. It's a good defensive performance. And you can see why they're dropping off a little bit more into a low block at this point. Ball here to Fry on the left flank. Fry tries to send in what looked like a cross, but just much too direct. Romero scoops it up. Young players, academy players, up to players in their mid to late 20s even trying to make it at the next level. This league just doing an excellent job of giving those opportunities. Jimenez now on the ball. Nice pass, shot. And there it is. The opening goal scored by the visitors. New York City FC 2 takes a 1-0 lead. Looked initially like it might have been a shot, but the cross might have been the play. And look here, Jimenez just with a great piece of skill draws two defenders, sees that opening, is able to split them with that pass in behind. And then Elias, what looked like maybe was a shot, was actually a championship winning team back in 2022. Really good competitive club play. And New York with a really good competitive goal. New England equalizes. Counterattack chance. Brings the score to 1-1. Good resilience here from this New England team after giving up the opening goal. Another ball over the top. Flag stays down, it's a rundown. Cleared by Romero, the flag does go up and whistle blows. New York City, the majority of possession, but here's an opening once again over the top. Goalie out, header cleared away. What a defensive play. Not quite on the goal. Instead of sending it back in, sends it back. Now he's got some space. Nice ball. Hard challenge, whistle blows. Penalty indicated. Penalty kick coming here for New York City FC2. Penalty kick coming here after a hard challenge in the box. Elias just rolls it through. The visitors take a two to one lead. Cheeky little move here by Piero Elias in his first goal of the season. Just does enough to send Weinstein the wrong direction so he doesn't have to put a lot on it after he sees Weinstein dive. Some space here for New England to work. Numbers up. Ball goes through, flag up though. Unfortunate call for the Revs after a nice little build up there. Alex Monis pulling it back there was Leal. Another big piece of this Revs group earning his eighth start. Tenth match played of the season in this one. Shot fired, just wide. It looked good though. He got to strike it really well and place it really well because they have more time to read the shot. New England on the front foot again, another shot. This one. Takes a deflection. Whistle does blow, flag up. 
That is coming up at 8 p.m. rather, not 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Shot on goal, blocked. Just sent over. Their shot percentage in terms of the amount of shots they take on frame, more than 43% is fourth best in the league out of 29 teams. Foul here on the other end, big foul, player on the ground, yellow card issued. So watch here, Awusu running down Monus. The contact, Monus goes down on the ground, looks like he's in some pain. Excessive contact results in a yellow. Awusu. High arcing, crossing in, back post. Scramble in the box, New York clears, and the whistle blows. That'll do it. The first 45 officially in the books here. Head referee Alexandra Billiter out there at midfield. There's the second half whistle. Play resumes here at Woolet Stadium, New York City FC 2 with the one goal lead over New England Revolution 2. Look great chances, they had quite a few shots. They were able to start to get more possession as the half wore on, but still, if New York has possession and they're not threatening, maybe they're okay with that. Asiel. Nice little one-two, great combination, but a save. Well played by Romero after a brilliant combination play inside the 18 for the refs. Had a bit of a tough angle as Romero was coming out, closing down the angle. The goalkeeper for New York, he did a good job making that save. Header on the corner kick sent out. Second ball rolls over the end line. Going to be, he made the pass and then did like that exact move that you're trained to do where you just kind of roll over the shoulder behind the defender and receive it right back. This one sent deep into the box. No one able to get there. New England will go all the way back. Cross sent all the way through. Well played by Leal. Tackle sends this one out of play. Going to be another corner kick. The Arbian enters the match. Another corner sent in near post. Goes through. Revs trying to find an opening. Shot takes a deflection, it looked like. Out of play though, it is going to be a goal kick. So Gavor Diarbian enters the match, replacing Malcolm Fry at the halftime break with Alfia. But still, despite direct style of play, whether you have the ball a lot or you don't, you still want to be creating chances and three shots, one on frame, just not enough. So they get it into the box, but it's headed away. Philadelphia also doubled up New England on crosses, but what the expected goals would be based on the quality of the chance, the amount of chances they're taking, takes those types of things into account. The XG for New England. One. Swinging it around the left flank now. Ball gets through. Running on here is Calhara. He shoots and he scores! Brilliant goal! New York City takes a 3-1 lead. So this ball just gets by Souza. He's not able to get there. And then Calhara coming, kind of coming across, sweeping across that back line, is able to get to it first. No one shuts him down. He gets into the 18 and then really well have to be careful with that one. Romero a little slow off his line. Owusu clears. Tough slide tackle, whistle blows. Card going to be immediately issued to Patrick Leal. In his third season at the helm of this group, was named the first ever head coach of NYCFC2 back in February of 2022. Been with the academy since 2016. His group will have to defend. Great move. Crossing in, saved, second ball. Loose, but not able to keep it in play. And that speaks to that combination play. You see it in the defensive third, you see it in the final third. Nice combo here. Jimenez sends it across, well placed, off the post. So here's the opportunity. This is just a beautifully played cross in. New England avoids conceding a fourth, thanks to the crossbar. Now can they counter? Diaz plays it across. Monis, 1v1. 
Gets caught up, shot saved. Nice stop by Romero. I don't know, he was pretty central though at that moment. Corner kick, sent deep into the area. Had her back across, caught by Romero. Nicely played by the New York keeper. So you maybe just want to head it back across the goal, just put it back in the mix. I feel like that was maybe what he was trying to do, but it was well read by Romero. Hard foul at midfield, whistle blows. Yellow card is issued. Victor Souza receives the yellow for New England. For a tough challenge at midfield. 99 White turns with the ball, takes an elbow to the face as Souza is trying to take the ball away, lifts up that elbow. Here comes New England looking to do exactly that. Jarbian, cross played in. Is it the equalizer? Called offside, so no go for New England, knocking on the door. Diarbian. Ball gets through to Diaz. Shot fired, saved, diving saved by Romero. Monis with a good look on goal. Nice pass is connected here for New York. Clear jersey tug, tactical foul. Should result in a yellow, and it does. Revolution with the opportunity, crossing in, dangerous ball, and there is the second. New England pulls one back here in the 80th minute. Good build-up play there on the left side. This New York City defense just not marking up tight enough, not tight enough at all. They allow it. Crossing in, back of the six, great ball. The header and the equalizer. What a moment for New England. Finishing off the corner is Eric Klein and they bring this match level at three apiece. Just a perfectly placed corner kick by Leal, and then leaping up and putting that one away is Eric Klein. His defender was there. Leal sends it in. New York able to clear. There is the final whistle, meaning regulation play in the books, but this matchup not over as both sides will get the opportunity to take an extra point, 10 to four. The edge in corners in 29 to nine in crosses sent in for New England. First shot is saved. The shot from Elias. Diaz shoots, scores. Beautifully taken penalty. One nothing lead for New England to start the shootout. Diaz does an excellent job stepping up and then he sends Romero the wrong direction. Fires the run of play during the match. Calhera with a little stutter step puts it away. Leal. Leal shoots and it's saved. Big save to bring this shootout level. New York scores another. Now for New England. Gavork, Diarbian. Diarbian, quick little steps, rolls it in the right corner. Some have different approaches in terms of they'll go ahead and dive and guess, some hold their ground. This shot goes in, rolled through. Alex Monis. With a short approach. Monis shoots, gets it in the left corner. Axhari shoots and it's saved. Big stop. Maxwell Weinstein comes up huge for New England. Eric Klein looking for the game winning penalty shot. Klein shoots and he rolls it in. New England takes the extra point. They fight back from a two goal deficit and now they get two points after a shootout victory.